So hello and welcome to the Refreshing Views Observatory. Today we are capturing a solar eclipse, a partial solar eclipse. And normally when we have these, the sky clouds over and we get all kinds of rain. But actually, the sky's not looking too bad now. We've got patches of blue sky. So I'm going to grab the telescope, I'm going to set it up out the front. The sun's now too low for me to see behind all the trees we've got in the background. Now before we set up, I just need to mention never ever use a telescope to observe the sun. It, the light, the heat, whatever, magnified on your eye or magnified on your camera will either melt your camera or blind you. They say you can look at the sun twice with a telescope. Once in one eye and then a second time with the other eye. And that's the last thing you'll ever see. I've got a device called a Herschel wedge and this reflects away almost all of the sun's energy, all of the sun's heat and, and energy and means that we can observe the sun safely. I'm going to put the camera in and I'll share the views with you. So here's the telescope as we get ready to observe. This is a Megrate 90 millimeter on an out azimuth mount so I don't have to worry about polar aligning and tracking and power and motors. I can just observe the sun safely. And talking of which, that is the Lunt Herschel wedge, one and a quarter inch Herschel wedge and that rejects away all the energy coming from the sun so we can observe the sun safely. <laughs> So I've just taken the dust cover off and the warm sort of damp air with all this wet weather we've been having has hit the lens. The lens is cold, I haven't been in the observatory and it's just fogged over. So I'll go and get everything set up and we'll get the hair dry and just give it a gentle blast with some, some sort of warm air just to, just to blow the condensation off. Oh my goodness, that absolutely scared the living daylights out of me, that spider coming out, made me jump out of my skin. And I'm glad the hairdryer was still making a noise, you couldn't hear me cursing and swearing. So I've made myself a pint of tea just to calm my nerves, and now it's just a case of waiting for the next, next clear patch to come through. I'm trying to pat my head and rub my tummy as I set this up, there we go, look at that in the centre, oh look at that. And the hardest thing is trying to see the camera screen in bright daylight. So as you can see, we were lucky with the weather. We just managed to get some clear patches to catch the moon passing over the front of the solar disk and see that white beam taken out of it. What I found really impressive was being able to see those sort of irregularities in the lunar surface, the mountains, the valleys, the craters uh, on the silhouetted against the bright solar disk. And as always, if you enjoy videos like that, then don't forget to subscribe and I'll bring you more videos as we explore the night sky. And talking of which, we've got some high resolution imaging of Jupiter to come. And we're also going to help out on the BAA stand at New Scientist Live, where over a thousand people looked through a homemade telescope. 